My friends, after you vote tomorrow, you are needed for a much different and necessary kind of beach cleanup. Fisheries biologist Brent Tibbetts has the very latest. Welcome back, sir. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure to talk to you and everything like that. And always yeah. a pleasure to help you help make our environment great. And this is a very big event. Please tell us why. Yeah. This is great. Uh, uh, Tumon Bay, everybody knows Tumon Bay. It's a popular place for local people and tourists to go. My home away uh, from home. Yeah, a couple of months ago, we there was reports of an invasive algae that had shown up there, and we've noticed that it has become quite invasive. It's spreading over a larger and larger area of Tumon. It's unsightly. It impacts the ecology of Tumon Bay, and it affects the ability of fishermen to fish in Tumon Bay. So. We, something needed to be done about it, so uh, we've working with uh, GVB and a bunch of other groups and people to get together to do a cleanup tomorrow to remove this algae from Tumon Bay. Mm -hmm. Okay, for, yeah. so you're looking for volunteers and just res responsible Guamanians who want to take care of our home. Absolutely, it's not, yeah. it's not just you know for the locals about the tourists just because right. it's no, in Tumon. Yeah. No, not at all. This, so this, should this, we should we bring any kind of material? And maybe more importantly, what shouldn't we bring? Because we can wind up doing more damage than good. Right. Well, most of the algae is going to be in water that's three feet deep or less. So if, if you're going to be getting algae where clothes that can get wet, uh, snorkeling gear or at least swim trunks, things like that. Uh, if you have gloves, it would be fantastic. The, preferably maybe the white gloves with the red rubber lining. That's the ones that people use the most, but if, you're, if you want uh, latex gloves or any kind of gloves really to help protect your hands. So gardening gloves almost. Right? Gardening gloves would okay. be great, sure, sure. We haven't ever had any reports of any reactions to people uh, to this algae. It seems to be safe, but people are more comfortable with it. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, We're going to be providing uh, styrofoam boxes to put algae in to bring it to shore. We're going to be providing some nets, and also there'll be plenty of drinking water stations down there. Recommend people bring uh, some sort of sun protection, you know, long sleeve shirts that are thin material, maybe a hat, sunglasses, sunblock, make sure you're protected from the sun. Um, if you have gloves, like I said, bring them down. We don't. We hope we have enough, but we're getting reports we're gonna have a lot of people showing up tomorrow. And so if you Fantastic. bring your own, it helps make it sure that everybody's got some, yeah. And maybe as a abject or object lesson um, moving forward, if people should find these algae, you know, like out where they're going and everything like that, yeah. and, and they're by themselves and they don't have, you know, the tutelage of people like yourself, yeah. what is the proper way that they can actually remove it and in a safe way that you know they're not again destroying sure. the environment sure the, the best way because this algae does not grow any kind of roots or any kind of hold fast it's not going to be attached to anything it's just floating free so you can pick it up without worry about ripping out coral or ripping out something that, that's mm -hmm. more delicate. Um, the one thing that we like to remind, and we have to do this ourselves, is that Tumon Bay is a marine preserve and you shouldn't remove anything from it without permission. We have to issue a permit to ourselves to do this algae cleanup tomorrow because it is... That's an interesting process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I get to review that and I, I said it was okay. But <laughs> it's, it's something that because we do, like for my people, it is a preserve and you shouldn't be taking anything out from it. Now, outside of the preserves, if you see the algae, the best thing is just pick it up and put it on shore, uh, you know, not in anybody's yard or anything, but out of reach of the waves. It'll dry out probably within an hour and mm -hmm. it'll be dead after that. It should okay. be okay. Um, again, it's not, we've never heard of any kind of bad reaction to people's hands or skin or anything. It's not prickly, it won't poke you, it's not toxic of, as far as we know of any way. Because I've seen pictures like on Facebook or Instagram, people have fun with this, they take the algae off, you know, they pretend they're a little mermaid or things yeah, like that. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. So it is, it is safe. It's as far as, I've never heard of a bad reaction to it at all. And okay. fish eat it and they don't have any ill effects and people eat the fish who have eaten it and do not show any ill effects either. So okay. it doesn't well, seem to be anything dangerous. Tomorrow, Brent, is obviously going to be like a very big day because the polls are open, you know, we're encouraging people to get on vote. Uh, but for people that still want to help out and, you know, do their part, yeah. For this mission, um, how, how long should we expect to, you know, be helping out and how much of the day is that going to take? Okay, we're starting to check people in at 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. We'll have two check-in locations, either Ipau Beach or Matapeng Beach. We schedule the cleanup for 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock. The low tide is about 1.30, and so that'll maximize the amount of algae that's exposed on the beach and easier to clean up. Mm -hmm. So 1 o'clock would be the end. If you can stay up until 1, fantastic. But any amount of time that people can commit to this will be very welcome. All right. And it is a really fun project. You know, there, there are worse ways to spend a Saturday. No, it is. It yeah. looks like the weather's going to cooperate. And uh, we've been really surprised at the uh, amount of interest people have shown. We're expecting several hundred people down there at least. If you have a group you want to come down and work as a group of friends and clean stuff up, I encourage you to please come down. It's a couple hours you get to spend at the beach and do something really good for Guam, too. Bring your GoPros with the marine housing because that's going to be a fantastic photo opportunity. It sure will. You are. All, right. All right. Thank you. And thank you, what you for what you do for our island community. We really appreciate it. Oh Well, it's my pleasure. Happy to do it. All right. We'll see you down there. Okay, good. All right. And we'll see you after this break.